Toughest test at home so far for the River Kings from the Grey Highlands Bravehearts who early in the first period come within a whisker of a lead when Cameron Pfeiffer catches the post behind Isaiah LaBelle. Now Pfeiffer with another chance sent in on side goes backhand but LaBelle with the leg save. This one looks to be a goal for sure but no LaBelle has it again and guess who's left frustrated? Yeah Cameron Pfeiffer he could have had a hat trick within 10 minutes but instead Still scoreless and the River Kings giving thanks to number one. Despite all the early chances for Grey Highlands, Oshawa opens the scoring. Dalton White behind the goal sets up Gage Van Aston. He fires home 1-0 on the power play. Second period, Kyle Powell is going to be sent in alone. Dominic Jolly gets a piece of it, but not enough. 2 to nothing for the River Kings. That one also with the man advantage. Some big saves at that end of the ice on this night. Brock Ackerman gets robbed by the glove of Jolly. That had goal written all over it. What a save. Just shy of the midway point of the game. The River Kings do make it three. And it's the captain, Kyle Powell, showing some great patience going up top of the backhand for his second goal of the night. Just when it looks like the Bravehearts will escape the second period down by a manageable three, Zachary Wright skates in from the point and buries the feed from Ryan Nichols with just seven ticks left on the clock, 4 nothing after two. Oshawa lose the pocket deep in their own end to start the third, and that leads to a goal from Kirsters Bormanis. The Bravehearts back in business in this game. A couple of minutes later, the Grey Highlands on the move again. Initial save made by LaBelle, but Terrence Semple scores on the rebound, and just like that is a two-goal game. But any anxious moments were relieved by Josh Cameron, who's going to jump on a loose puck here, goes from one end to the next, and he is going to score to make it 5-2, and that would be the final in this game as the Oshawa River Kings stay perfect on home ice and show that, yeah, when it comes to close games, low scoring affairs, they can win those games as well as the blowouts. And when it comes to the close games like this, I think we really can pull together as a group. And uh, like tonight showed, we pulled out another win and our record's still staying good. Yeah, even when we went up there and played them, they, uh, they were a close game. We only won 7-5. So we were expecting a tight game, and they gave it to us the first period for sure. Oh, La LaBelle was huge tonight. Uh, you know, he was uh, he was tested on early and uh, a couple second chances in front of the net, but uh, he stood in there tall for us like we wanted him to, and uh, we're working hard here. Some of the times they started coming hard, we knew that uh, we knew we had that second gear, and we knew that uh, we need to come out and, and, and show them that in the second period. I think it's just all about finding that healthy median and, and not getting too high and not getting too low, and, and sort of staying even keel.